Hi, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm based in the UK. I'm in my craft room today. I have, it's Monday. Um, I have all day to myself. Done a little bit of, a little bit of tidying up this morning, a bit of cleaning. Um, I have been to Home Bargains. Spent a bit too much money. Um, and I have, yeah, an afternoon in my office. So, I'm going to go, it's now, oh gosh, what time is it? Half past ten. Oh, that needs sorting. This pile is all retired. Well, the top box, that bit from there upwards. I need to sort it, I need to get it on eBay, I need to get rid of it. Um, oh, and, and that pile of stamps over there. There they are. Over there. Um, yeah, that's not on my list for today. Um, it should be, but it's not. Um, yeah, so that is my to-do list. Oh, look at all the way up there. Um, that's my to-do list for today. Um, is to get, just get into my craft room and get some, just craft, really. Because I haven't crafted for a week. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go now and go and get a coffee from my coffee shop. That's just on the corner. Um, and maybe some brownie. Maybe. I'll see. I'll see what's in the cupboard. Um, and, um, yeah, crack on. See you soon. So, while I sit and enjoy my coffee, I just thought, well, excuse the, the pile of clothes. I'm sat in my son's bedroom because he has the comfy chair. <laughs> um, I want this chair in my office one day. Not yet, but one day. Currently, it's used at bedtime for a bedtime story. Um, so yeah, while I'm sat here enjoying my coffee from my local coffee house. So I have a, a um, I call it a coffee shop, it's not really a coffee shop, it's a cake cafe is what they describe themselves as. Um, and I will link it, I will link the, their Instagram um, down below because it's just gorgeous. Um, so while I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee, I thought I would just mention about what's happening in July um, at Stampin' Up! So we have bonus days which is uh, happens every year and it's coupons and it's brilliant. So you spend £45. I've got an order to put in today, actually. You spend £45, you get a £4.50 voucher that you can spend in August. It's brilliant. It's really, it's a really good idea. I love it. Problem is that the voucher codes come to you by email. So if you've got voucher codes, you've got the email, you need to either, either save the email somewhere really safe, print them off, write them in your diary, do whatever it is you need to do to keep them safe so you know you've got them ready for august and you can spend them throughout august and you'll i'll remind you um, that you need to spend them i won't let you forget um and then so that's that one the clearance rack was updated last week there's still some bargains on there to be had um and what's the other one? Oh, uh, online exclusives are back so we've got some brand new online exclusives most of them are kind of christmas in july um there's some really good stuff um, the one that I'm going for, I'm going to order today, I've got an order ready to go in, um, is like a, it's a punch of a little truck with like, that you can then put like Christmas trees or presents or whatever in. It's cute, really cute. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, I know it's sold out in the US really, really quickly. Um, so I believe it's been restocked. I don't think it's sold out here. I need to check. So if it has sold out, I will put a note in the description. Um, but I think it, or, or on the screen somewhere, if I can learn how to do that. Um, but yeah, it will, yeah, it's a good one. I like it. Um, as well as that, my, if you're not subscribed to my email list, do it. Because my email exclusive for the month, this is going to happen every month, hopefully. Definitely happening this month. There'll be a class, if you're subscribed to my emails already, there'll be a class coming to you in a couple of days time. Or oh, probably, uh, no, today. If you haven't subscribed to my email list, subscribe today anyway, and you will get the class regardless, because I will make sure it's sent out automatically. So that is that. That's very exciting, isn't it? I like that. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's it. I think. That's all the usual good stuff. The other thing I probably should mention to you about is if you are looking at stamping up if you're looking at the catalogue going oh there's so much stuff that i really like please consider joining um it's 99 pounds for the starter kit i know that's a lot of money at the moment i get it i really get it but once you've spent that 99 pounds your subsequent orders are at least 20 percent off 
So it's worth doing. It is worth doing. If you've got a big, if you've got big, like a big list, consider joining because you've, you've got that discount. It's at least 20% off, but it could go up to 25 if you hit, if you, you know, there's no, there's no obligation to start selling. It, you can absolutely be a happy shopper. Um, I am mostly a happy shopper, I will admit. Um, and you know what? I'm happy. I've been here for eight years. I love it. Um, there's nothing wrong with being a happy shopper. Stampin' Up! aren't going to kick you out for being a happy shopper. I am not going to kick you out for being a happy shopper either. Um, so, yeah, do consider, if you've got a big list, join and become part of Stampin' Up! and come be part of the team. Um, my team is small. We're little, but we're lovely. Um, and there is a team event, not hosted by me, hosted by my team leader in September. I would love to have some of my team there. It would be amazing. So, that's that. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I haven't even taken a sip of it yet. It will probably be cold now. <laughs> I've been so busy. Um, and I'm going to get my craft room and make something. I made it into my craft room. I have... I've, I've set you up on my um stand and actually i don't you don't need to be able to see the stand do you that was that's silly oh you can see my belly as well that's good you've had a wonk because i've just literally shoved you on my desk because my desk is a mess and i thought i would have a bit of a tidy up um while i sort of chatted away so there's all this stuff on my desk i've got my i've got my notebooks and my diary and loads of adhesives and it's just and oh bits of manky tissue um that just needs sorting um i've got ink pads this was last week's global design project color combination which is beautiful bubble bath um, lemon lolly which i haven't used much of and parakeet party and i made a card let me show you it because i never got around to writing the blog post for this and i'm looking at this i'm looking at my screen and going i'm sure that the camera's the wrong way around let me stop and see if i can turn it around I know I've moved everything and it's all a bit... Ah, there we go. So yeah, made this card. Really happy with this card. I will post this. Um, but it's just not... Um, yeah, it, I didn't make it. It didn't make it onto, onto the Global Design Project. But isn't it fun? Love that. This uses the... Um, where are they? I keep calling them Alphabest, but they're not the Alphabest dies at all. These are the Alphabet a la mode dies. And they are so stunning. Um, you get loads of dies. There's two sheets of alphabet um, and lots of duplicates. So you've got like two A's, uh, two E's, um, two I's, two L's, two N's. So I, can, I can write my name almost because there's only one H. Um, uh, two T's, two S's, all of your numbers and even some of your more specialist um, like, if you are German or French and you need some of those other letters that we don't have in the English language, they're in there as well. It's just brilliant um, and really, really handy. So I used that die set for that. And, and I know I went a little bit wild, actually, because this card, this one card uses the Alphabet Alamo dies, the artistically inked stamp set just for the birthday. Uh, no, there's no texture floral on it. And... The stars in the background are from these dies. These are the uh, beautiful balloons, um, so they're quite new. But the star, I've not, I've never really used the star die um, ever. Star shapes just don't really feature in my in my brain, um, but they did on this. I really like it. I um, the stars are actually white cardstock. If you look carefully, you've got slight variation in tone on some of the stars um, and it's because it's ink blended white cardstock rather than coloured cardstock uh, just for a bit of a bit of a difference but I really like that I have to say the trick to doing this technique where you've got a square so these are one inch by two inch pieces of cardstock remembering that if you cut out an A you cut out the middle of it as well and you then have to stick it back in. So the P's are stuck in with mini dimensionals to these, which are little, not little enough for that in the A, that middle of the A. So that is they are that one stuck on with a glue dot. But it means I also have now some of the letters in the same colours. 
um, already pre-cut. So these will slot into the back of my dies like that. And they'll sit there quite happily um, until I suddenly need that letter in that colour. And I've already got it die cut. Isn't that handy? Convenient. Yeah, don't throw anything away. I'm a crafter after all. So I've got scraps of things. I've then got, oh, that's another global design project card for a few weeks ago that I made and never posted. Um, that's something for something else. I've got just my type on my desk because more wise um because i'm still working on my um card class for my email that goes out on wednesday haven't finished that yet uh there is the happy birthday that goes in this stamp set i do love this this is an oldie but goodie for me it's just really beautiful i love this particular stamp here love makes some really handy cute backgrounds with um, I've got this card. It's been on my, um, sent to me by Yvonne and she sent me it months ago and it's been out on my um, sideboard in my living room, honestly, for months and months and months. And I took it down the other day and thought I need to keep it because it's so pretty. It's um, boho blue and I'm assuming that's parakeet party and it's just really gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? So I'm keeping that, it'll go up in my, on my um, the side behind me. Scraps of cardstock, ink pads that go underneath my desk. So underneath here is where I keep all of my ink pads. Um, I do have the Stample Up storage system for my ink pads, and they all sit down there. So they're really easily accessible because they're literally just by my knee. Um, dies to go over there in a moment. And then this is the big, my big tidying job for today. <laughs> because I actually can't put these away at the moment. Because this is the state of my adhesives basket. Now, I keep all of my adhesives together. Um, I keep them so and cutting blades and all sorts of stuff. Fine tip glue pen. Is that still, do we still have the fine tip glue pen? That's really handy, isn't it? That's a, that'll be a useful thing for me to remember if I actually, if we still stock that or not. Whether I need to keep it or not. Let's have a look. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. It's just here. Um, yeah. One of the things I use so often, I can't remember if it still exists. What have I got in here? Oh, Snowball Accents Puff Paint. I don't think we have that. Um, I have got lots of um, cutting blades. If you haven't checked out the online exclusive, and I mentioned them earlier, haven't checked out the online exclusives yet, the scoring blades are back in the online exclusive. So if you need those, and I do, because my scoring blade keeps falling off my trimmer and it's driving me absolutely insane. Um, and I am so excited. I've ordered them this morning um, because I'm a little behind on my ordering. Um, I've got so many sheets of dimensionals. Oh, and apparently... Two snails. Anybody remember this adhesive? I, anybody else as old as I am? Um, I did love this stuff. I do still, because I'm still working through some back stock. So I will hold my hands up and say some of my cards are still made of this stuff. Because it's just, it's still, it's still in my craft room. It's still here. Um, so yeah, might as well use it. Um, I've got two seal handles only one of them is currently in use and a seal plus i don't use the seal plus very often i it's yeah just not my favorite um oh other thing that's handy in here and a decent eraser which i also don't think we stock anymore uh, which is a shame because it's again really handy um so many packs of dimensionals so many packs of dimensionals um literally oh, i've lost count it's just so many um, so many, and there's some that are full and some that are mini. They're so, oh goodness me, this is a blast in the past as well, look. Green! We've had this black bunny for a long time. Apparently I still have some green ones. Um, there's a mini pack. There's a standard pack. There's a mini pack. A mini pack. Standard pack. So, let's get them in some sort of order. And then, I've got lots of parts. 
um, part sheets of dimensionals. Now, these are really handy and I do not ever get rid because you can use the adhesive. This was my top tip. If you check out my Instagram, this was my top tip on Instagram last week to use these bits because this bit is still adhesive. It's still sticky. Um, you don't want to waste it. So I'm going to pull out those so that I can actually use them today because I've got so many now kind of frames of um, adhesive that I need to use them. These are really handy as well. I'm sure we've still got those. That is the adhes uh, adhesive strip, foam adhesive strip, I think it was called. Where's it gone? Four. Yeah, foam adhesive strip. And it comes in a packet like that and you get long, thin pieces. I don't use it very often, but it's great for shaker cards. Really, really brilliant for shaker cards. So that is there. A whole sheet. Um, some contraband. <laughs> so everybody has a little bit of contraband in their life. And I've got two boxes at the moment of um, glue dots. Now these are also really old because they're also in green. I'm sure we don't do them in green anymore. Um, just one of those things is really handy to keep. Just don't use them very often. So pulling out all. I mean, oh. yeah, they they've got stuck together. They're going in the middle. They'll go in the they'll go in the journey because sometimes it's not worth it. There we go. All the edges like that. And my adhesive eraser. I don't think we still do the adhesive eraser. Um, but I am damn sure that you can get one on Amazon. Um, really handy, really useful thing to have. No, not on there. Um, but yeah, again, really useful thing to have um, if you are a bit like me and put adhesive in the wrong place. Useful. I think I've got two of them actually. The other one is probably in my box, which is just off here. But I do. I don't use it massively often, but very, very worthwhile keeping. So that is my adhesive box. I've organised it again. It's clean. I might be able to find stuff in it now. Goodness me. And then I've got all of this to use today. So it's not going back in that box. It's going to get used today. Right. Time to make some cards. So I have just filmed my uh, class video for the month and this is now the state of my desk um something's happened to my voice today as well oh goodness um where i keep losing it it just disappears so i am hoping that it comes back properly um i'm gonna very quickly tidy up this disaster of a mess um <clears throat> and then i've got another video to film for tom oh no not tomorrow for Saturday, and I'm going to use. Da, 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 where's it gone? Let's go shopping. Um, I'm not gonna. I'd love to do a shaky card with this one, but I'm not. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make something quite dimensional though. I think. Um, with some of the dies that go with. I cannot wait. Yeah. So that's. That's my next job. Once I've tidied up, I've got another another tutorial to film. Probably card to make first, and then the tutorial to film after. Um, and then we'll see what time it is because. Yeah, it's already four o'clock. I've got an hour, goodness, um, before I have to go and collect my children from nursery. Ah! Oh, goodness, days at home on my craft room on my own go really fast. So I have made a card for YouTube um, for Saturday. I am very excited. I'm really enjoying the Let's Shop. The Let's, let's Go Shopping stamp set, let's call it that, because the design the sweet name is just too much um so yeah that is everything i think for this week don't forget about bonus days the online exclusives i will share what i have ordered put an order in this morning so hopefully hopefully that'll come really soon i'm going to share that with you um anything you want that you've seen in my video uh do let me know um i can place an order for you or you can order yourself in the, in the my online store link is in the down bar below if you want a copy of the catalog don't forget, you can, um, there is a order code, order thing on my blog, or you can drop me an email, um, or a DM or something on Instagram. Always easy enough to do. Uh, if you want to come and do what I do, um, you want to join my team, do let me know. If you have any questions at all, either in the comments, um, or email or Instagram or anything like that, not a problem, get in contact with me. Um, I cannot wait. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. So, oh, before you go, before you go, please, could you like, comment and subscribe?
Love you. Bye.